All righty, morning, morning. So we're gonna get started. Um, hope you're all doing well. It's quite warm in here. I feel like I'm in a heated studio right now. Can't have any fans or anything blowing or else it'll take away the uh, my voice. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, my ankle is much better, so I'll be doing the entire class. However, I sprained my pinky, so I just can't catch a break but I should be able to do everything just fine. So um, we're gonna get started standing. So why don't you come towards the top of your mouth? Let's bring the feet to just a comfortable distance from each other and spin the heels a little wider so the side edges of your feet are more parallel with the edges of your mouth. Let's have the arms just rest heavily down by your sides and the palms are going to spin forward. Close the eyes if that's something you're comfortable doing. And notice if you have most of your weight rested in your heels. Take a moment to draw some of that weight forward. You might feel the heels rise even a little bit. And you can take a couple more of those rocks. Start to notice the bottoms of the feet, the pads of each of your toes, and also Pay attention to the inner and outer parts of your feet. Allow the feet to get completely grounded down into the mat. So each toe pressing down, inner arch, pinky edge of the foot and heel, nice and evenly grounded. Pull the kneecaps higher so you feel the tops of your thighs engage. As you draw your navel towards your spine, see if that makes the tailbone tuck down a little more so you're standing nice and tall. Crown of the head to the ceiling, shoulders down and away from the ears. So very tall and strong. Take a big breath in and sigh it out. Let's take two more of those. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Keep the breath going. You may keep the lips sealed. And then just be in this standing pose for a few more moments. Feeling the energy. Root the feet down. Lift the head. Palms are now going to press at your center body, tuck your chin towards your chest, and let the toe mounds now come in towards touch, keeping still a little space at the heels. Eyes are open, gaze down at the fingertips. And then inhale, let's reach those arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to heart. Let's soften through the knees a bit. So the thighs are working towards touch. You've got those knees coming in towards center and extend the arms for a chair pose. Now try not to let the tailbone press back and the torso press forward. Really lock the core in, press the tailbone down. And then take it a little bit lower in the chair, hands to heart center. We're gonna work between those two poses. So inhale, a taller chair. And exhale, low chair. Inhale, taller, keep those knees a little bent. And exhale, lower chair. Again, inhale. And exhale, warming those legs up. Last one, inhale. And exhale to that low chair. Let the toes be light here. Challenge those thighs to become parallel with the mat. So you're really getting strong in the legs. Shoulders relax. And then when your next inhale, let's come all the way up to standing, release the legs, and hands find heart center once again. You can pedal, shake those legs out to give a release. 
and then hands find hips. Let's bring the top of the right foot behind you, but the right hand keeps that hip spun forward. Let's reach those arms up and then basket hands behind your head. So press the elbows back, lift your chest a little bit higher. You can stay here with that right foot grounded, keep spinning right hip forward, or you take an early balance and a nice straight right leg floats off of the mat. As you pass through center, take that right leg out in front of you and then step it over the left one. All 10 toes facing forward, bend into that right knee, keep the left leg straight. The basket is still behind your head, but now we're just going to let that right elbow fall towards the side and the left elbow is cradling that head. Don't let the chin tuck, press the head back and now take a side lean over towards the right. So you've got a big stretch for your left side ribs, maybe even into that outer hip. Keep lifting the chin a bit. As you come back to center the hands behind the head once again, you can lift the chest for an inhale and then an exhale to take your fold. Now you can keep the hands basketed and then just release the elbows into the face. Right knee is bent, left leg straight. Now if this isn't comfortable for you, you can tempt those fingertips down on the mat. Keep that head nice and heavy. And now let's look straight down. Both knees are going to bend so that the hands come to the mat and you take a step back to your first high plank pose. If you'd like your high plank to be knees grounded, you can take that. Let's take our first low plank. So shift those shoulders forward, hug your navel up, and then bend those elbows just halfway. Upward facing dog, extend the arms, get some space for the tops of the thighs and into the heart. And then downward facing dog, Exhale. So first downward facing dog, you can move around. As you let one heel lift and the other drop, you'll get some space at the back of the leg. I personally like to bend one knee very deeply and let it swing across the opposite side of the mat. Then take at least a solid breath or two in downward facing dog without any movement. And then lift those heels on the inhale. Exhale to bend knees and look forward. Inhale, you can hop or just step. Bring those toes to touch, keep the space in the heels and exhale forward fold. Inhale, the arms come all the way up overhead and exhale, hands to heart center. So we'll take one sun A, breath in to sweep up, and a breath out to dive down. Take that step back on the inhale, prepare, and exhale to your low plank. Upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Deep, slow breath. Relax the shoulders and head. Try and keep those heels spun out of your line of vision so those feet are still parallel even in your down dog. And then let's float left leg in the air, three-legged dog. Take a moment to stack that hip, bend into the knee, but watch the right heel. The right heel should not be sweeping all the way over with you. Try to keep that leg nice and straight behind you and then peel that left knee higher. Then take a straightening of that top leg, look forward and step it. So you've got your left foot just inside that left thumb. The back heel will stay lifted. Right hand down, left hand to that thigh, and let's take a twist. So think about squeezing those inner thighs together so the hips are staying forward. And you have the option to extend that left arm higher.
Now look down and tend onto the fingertips. Keep that bend in your front knee, but now hover off of that leg and float the arms behind you so that the palms are facing down. A little bit more core work and back work to keep you upright. And then a big press through that front leg, come up high lunge, and go right into your warrior two. So now the back heel is down, right toes slightly in, gazes over those front fingertips. Now straighten the leg, arms up overhead. We're gonna reverse your triangle. So right hand back, left arm up and back. Now come back to center, warrior two, and now take it to side angle, lean out, left elbow down, right arm up and over. So with the breath, we're gonna work between those two poses. So inhale, takes you all the way up, straighten legs and arms. Exhale, takes you back, reverse your triangle. Inhale, arms up overhead, and exhale, bend into that side angle. Inhale, straighten up tall. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, upright. Exhale, side angle, and we'll pause here. Left arm can help that left leg stay open. Gaze can be lifted under right arm. all the way back up to your warrior two. Now let's windmill the hands all the way down to that mat. So this back right foot is going to step forward. Take a releasing forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. So ground your feet down, reach those arms up. You're going to interlace the fingers to a steeple mudra. So the first Finger dialed up, cross all the other fingers. Hug your core in, stand tall, relax your shoulders. Breath in to lengthen. A breath out, we're just gonna side lean over towards the right. Try not to let your head rest on that right arm. If anything, press your left ear into the left arm. Inhale, center. Now exhale, let's take it over to the left. Both hips are spun forward. Press that right ear into right arm. Inhale, center, and exhale to forward fold. Now let's just step that left foot back and scoot your right foot a hair wider. Check that the right knee is over that right ankle. And then again, squeeze those inner thighs together to feel the hips press forward. Now let's drop that left knee down and on top of those back toes so you're in your low lunge. Walk the hands up to that front thigh and let the hips sink forward. Now let's sweep those arms up and basket the hands behind the head. Really press the head back as you support the neck, and then dive up with the heart, and exhale, back bend. Elbows press down, hips are still low and forward. Inhale to center. Now we're gonna take the same thing that we did at the very beginning. You're gonna keep the interlace, but let that right elbow fall towards the side, and that left elbow is cradling the head. A breath in here, and then an exhale, let's side lean towards the right. So the space is happening along left side body. Press the head back into the arm. Come back to center, arms up overhead. Now the right hand to thigh, left hand can come all the way down and we'll twist towards the right. Couple of options here for this lunging twist. You can stay here or extend the arm back. Some of you might like to pick up that back foot, tap the heel, open palm to the foot. Now if you get a cramp or this isn't right, just let that leg go long and keep reaching the arm back. Last 
breath or two, feel free to let that right knee open a little wider. And then release, come around. So hands are going to frame that right foot. Let's straighten through the right leg. Try your best to keep the whole foot grounded. So press the big toe down. Left knee might go a little wider because we're going to come towards balance. The hands flow up to the hips. Now, if you've got a really tight top of the ankle or shin, your whole foot might not be grounded, but do your best to find that. Keep both of the knees, or both of the hips spun forward. Basket behind the head once again. We're going to take a little lift up and back. And then forward again. Let's rebend into the knee. Hands down. Tuck those back toes under. Lift the knee. And right foot is going to pick up to set that high plank pose. Take a breath in high plank. And use the exhale to lower just halfway. Then upward facing dog. Heart forward. And downward dog exhale. Steady the breath, soften shoulders, let the heels get a little heavier. Then inhale, lift heels. Exhale, bend knees, look forward. Inhale, feet to hands. And exhale, fold. Sweep up to standing with your breath in. And exhale, hands to heart center. So we'll come into tree pose on both sides now. Let's take that right shin, close the knee off, open that leg towards the side, and then land the foot. You can go above the knee, below the knee. You can even kickstand that toes right against the mat. Palms find heart center. And then just notice if that right hip is swinging behind you. Try to keep the hips in line forward. Progressing if you'd like. That right hand can fall inside the right thigh, reminding that knee to open. The left arm reaches up and then also over towards the right. So you're adding that side body stretch once again. Some of you might be able to take it lower where that right elbow is on the thigh. So it's almost like a side angle variation in tree pose. Then we'll come up and out of that. Extend right leg, give it a spin. Both feet down, pedal out. And then we'll take it directly to the other side so you can see what's similar and what's different. Left knee hugs in, open up, and the foot, same location that you just found. Pause with, heart, with hands at heart center. If you're going further, Left hand inside the leg, helping it guide open. Right arm up and over. And then you can play with balance a little more, maybe leaning to the left, and that left elbow presses into the top of your left thigh. And then we'll come right back up. Hands to heart, extend leg, give it a spin, and you can pedal both feet out. Then let's drop the top of left foot behind you. Hands to hips, square it off. Then let's lean into that right foot, float the left leg, and basket the hands behind the head. Try to take the opposite thumb on top for this interlace. Standing nice and tall, think chest to ceiling. And as you come back to center, straighten left leg out and cross it. So all 10 toes face forward, you can separate the feet. Now just keep the basket, but let the arms drop towards the left. 
So really cradle the head into that right elbow and press the head back so spine is neutral. Bend into your left knee only and take a side lean over to the left. Then come back to center, a regular basket of hands behind your head, and you take the fold. So the elbows can fall into the face, the left knee is bent, right one as straight as you can get it, but if you had hands down, first side, find that again. And then let's take that step back. So hand down to the mat, knees bend, unwind yourself to high plank pose, and exhale to your low plank. Inhale up, and exhale downward dog. A few breaths here, really settle in. And then let's sweep your right leg into the air, three-legged dog. So look at that left heel. Keep it down or as far down as you can get it. Stack right on top of left, bend the knee. And ideally, the shape of that left foot should not have changed. What you're doing is trying to open that left, or rather the right knee a little higher towards the ceiling. And also try and look straight down, both shoulders towards the mat. Then extend that right leg, look forward, and a big step. Left heel stays lifted, bend into that right knee, and right hand to the thigh. Let's take that twist open to the right. Squeeze those inner thighs together, you'll feel that left hip press forward a bit, and you can unload right arm higher. Now look down, come to tented fingertips, and we're going to float the hands, try to lift the torso a little bit away from that thigh, and then those arms float just behind you, palms facing down. Strong legs, strong torso. And then let's take a big strong sweep to high lunge, and go right into your warrior two. So the feet far apart from each other. Let's take some movement. So we'll start by straightening that front leg, reach up, and now reverse your triangle. So the left hand's down, and that right arm reaches back. So we're getting into the side body. Resist the back bend here, tailbone straight down. Then let's come back up, warrior two, into side angle, right arm down, Left arm up and over. Then let's take it. Inhale, everything straightens up. Exhale, dive back. Inhale, come up. And exhale, bend to side angle. Again, inhale, straighten. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, center. Bend and exhale, side angle, pause here. Gaze can be lifted under your left arm. Then let's come all the way back up to your warrior two, and then let's look down. Windmill hands to the mat. This time you're going to step that left foot forward. Separate the feet about hips width distance and fingertips out in front of you. So bend the knees a bit if needed, hands down as far as you can get them, and then tuck your chin to your chest.
Take a look up. Now we're just going to step your right foot all the way back. So you will set up in this runner's lunge. Left knee is over that ankle. And then you may drop that right knee down and untuck those toes. So let the hips fall down and take a walk up to that front thigh. So notice if when you came up, this left knee has gone on the ankle and just scooch that foot forward. So you've got good alignment in that knee. And then we'll take the arms behind the head. Find that interlace, press the head into the hands. We're gonna take a lift up. So chest a little higher, elbows wider, hips still low. And let's come back to center and keep the basket, but let that right elbow go higher. Still, chin lifted. Exhale to take the lean over to the left. Keep that right hip swinging forward. And then back to center. Release the hands, left hand, thigh, right hand all the way down. And we'll take a twist left. So go as far as you did first side. Left arm can release. You might take a bind. And if so, try to keep that palm open so that the leg is doing some work as well as getting a stretch. And you could also let that left knee spin wider. And let's face forward. Two hands down, back leg long. Now straighten through that left leg as much as possible. Keep that foot grounded. And then just check in with the hips. Again, you can squeeze those inner thighs together, bringing that right hip forward. And then walking hands to hips. So you could let that foot go a little wider to try and accommodate that right hip forward. And again, if your foot is lifted a little bit, fine as much as you can get that whole foot grounded. Then let's again, basket hands behind the head, press the head back, lift up and dive back. Back to center, let's bend that knee, hands come down. Tuck those right toes under, let's lift the knee and step left foot back, high plank. Use your exhale to glide forward a bit and then lower halfway. Upward facing dog, try to have the thighs completely lifted and downward dog, exhale. Let's come forward to sit. So you're going to make some space in the legs by creating this V shape. So you'll have, it doesn't matter which way you're facing, but as long as you can see the camera. So I'm not going to be mirroring you. So listen to my voice for the cues of which way um, to go in the pose. So start with the hands behind you and see if you can bump those hips slightly forward. So you're really sitting forward on the pelvis. And then we're going to sweep those arms up. So really feel your core working. Your thighs might actually be activated as well to sit you up nice and tall. And then let's tap those hands just inside of you. Now you can choose hands inside or hands to the back of you. But what we're going to work on is hip flexor strength and quadricep strength by floating that leg into the air. So see where you'd like the hands. And then let's try to lift that right heel off of the mat. Lower it down. Maybe you got a cramp like I just did. And then see if you can take it over to the left side, sitting up tall and floating that left leg. And lower. So we're gonna take two more each side, 
challenging with the breath. So at center, we'll take an inhale. Exhale, let's lift right. Inhale, lower. And exhale, left. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, center. Let's take this right foot, guide it into that left leg. That'll feel really nice to release that hip. And we're gonna take a twist. So right hand behind you, left arm up. We're gonna take a big rock star pose. So roll onto that right shin and knee and lift that left arm up and back. So bringing some space now to the hip flexors. Lower yourself back down. Keep the twist though. So now bring the left hand to that right knee and the right arm releases up. We're adding on gate pose, Parigasana. Side lean over toward that left leg. And then you can keep the left hand there or let it go inside that left leg. Now, try not to roll forward in order to grab those right toes. You really wanna open the side body up and keep that twist and extend long. And then guide yourself up and out. So if you're turned any way on the mat, we're just going to turn face forward. We're gonna switch the legs so that right leg is long. And then you're gonna take a hold of this left foot and guide it back so that the knee is lifted. Now we're going to take that right foot and hide it just behind that left heel. So there's a little bit of an intersection happening at the feet. Walk the feet wider towards the left. We're going to take a twist. So let's start left hand back, right arm up, and let's hug around that left knee and take your twist left. So this is a Marichyasana variation twist. If you don't feel you need this left hand behind you, wrap it around your low back and keep twisting left shoulder back. Let's unwind the arms. Now bring that left hand inside the left foot and feel this left knee press against the arm. We're gonna take a walk forward. So both hands climbing towards the top of the mat. Don't let the left knee splay open. Keep it pressing against your shoulder. And now we've got a Marichyasana fold. Allow the forehead to drop really low down. Now if this is great, keep it. If you're far enough into the fold, the arms can go out wide and then they could bind behind you. Now just don't lose that connection of the knee against the shoulder. And no matter the variation, the forehead down. Let's unravel arms, unravel legs, give them a little shake and bounce. And then we'll come forward. So take a roll, palms to the top of the mat. Step, step, inhale. Exhale, low plank. Upward face, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Deep breath, soft shoulders, hips are high. All right, take a look forward and let's return to sit. So you'll find that same V shape we were just in. So this is your Upavishta Konasana, so a wide leg. And we're gonna take this into the fold, but first we'll start some twists. So hands behind you, prep those hips to face forward and roll a little forward. Activate the feet, press the heels away from you. And now, basket hands behind the head. So we've been doing this all class. 
Press the head into the arms and sit up tall. Exhale, we're just gonna tick tock. So I'm gonna start going over towards the right. You don't have to touch down because that usually means you're gonna fold in. So just get that side body stretch, inhale, come back to center. And exhale, tick tock to the left. Inhale, exhale right. Inhale, and exhale left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, center, and let's hold it. Sit up tall, feet active, shoulders over hips, elbows press back. We'll just stay here for another five minutes. Release those hands out in front of you. So toes in line with knees, heels pressing out. Imagine your heart could extend all the way out in front of you. So we're not looking to round into this forward fold. You're looking to pull yourself forward into the forward fold. Arms can stay straight. Elbows could walk down. Gaze is towards the mat. Walk yourself back up. And now let's take that left foot to the inner thigh. So we'll start with the rock star. So let's take left hand all the way back and right arm up. So you can simply lean back or you roll onto that left shin. You can plant right foot down, hips high, right arm back. As you sit yourself back down, we're gonna switch hands so that the right hand comes to the thigh. And now lift the left arm up, keep this twist, and just lean to the right. So we're not leaning forward and down, just leaning to the right. You can release the right hand inside leg. and then come all the way upright. So you can spin to face forward if you're not yet there. Straighten the left leg for a moment and pull that right foot back so the knee is tall. Then you're gonna take that left foot and just nook it behind the right one. You can walk the feet a little wider. Let's take the twist. So the right hand is gonna press back, left arm hooks around, sit tall and twist back. If you feel you don't need a right arm, let it wrap around your low back. And then unravel, but keep the legs as they are. So we'll take this into the twist. So the right hand comes just inside that right foot. Squeeze the knee against your shoulder. You can walk the feet wider if needed. Left hand down as well. Now this one you will feel some rounding to the spine, but notice you don't want the right knee to splay. Squeeze that knee in, let the head go. If you feel you've got further and the arms can go wide, that happens when the shoulder is completely in front of the knee. Again, if it splays wide, you're not there today. And then you can release the arms around back. Working towards a bind, but squeezing that right leg in and releasing the head down. Then we'll unravel the arms. Let's unravel those legs, give them a nice bounce, and we'll come forward to very final vinyasa. Hands to the top of the mat. Find a tall plank pose, so knees can be lifted or lowered, but press that mat away, hug your navel in, 
Take a little glide forward and exhale halfway. Upward facing dog, pause. Press down, let the head lift straight up, tops of the feet pressing down, and then hips high, downward face. Take a couple of moments to shift around, find a few moments in downward facing dog with movement or stillness, keep the breath strong. Then let's lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, come to sit, and on to your back. Hug the knees in, a gentle rock side to side. Plant the left foot on the mat and the right leg into the air. Find some circling in that ankle. and hug that right knee in. Straight and left leg. And then take that right knee across your body in a twist. So right arm usually goes wide. You can try to bend that elbow at 90 degrees to get a different feeling along the chest and the pec. Come back to center, that right foot planted, left leg into the air, circle a little bit in that ankle and foot. Hug left knee in, and straighten that right leg. Cross midline for your twist. Left arm out or a 90 degree bend. and back to center. So let's float both legs into the air. Press both of the heels towards the ceiling. Let all 10 toes fall down towards your nose. And then let's come into your resting shape, your Shavasana. That could be legs wide, Arms bend like cactus. You can bring hands on the body or down by your sides. Different leg shapes could be feet to touch, knees splaying. Find a shape where you feel you don't need to hold yourself up, but that you can release and let go. Take a big breath in. Sigh it out. Enjoy this rest.
Take a deep breath to reawaken the body. Bring the mind back into the space. Move around in the extremities, start to reawaken. Stretch the arms up behind you, the toes forward. Curl up into a little ball. Bring your nose up towards the knees. And then lightly land on your right side. Carefully press up to a comfortable seated position. You may keep your eyes closed. Hands press at center body, Anjali Mudra. Just a simple, mutual sign of gratitude, honor, and respect. Let's take one final big virtual breath together. Lungs fill up on the inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Thank you for sharing your practice. Namaste. Thanks for joining in, YouTubers. So if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps me to spread the word with my videos. You can follow me on Facebook, Tina's Yoga Room, Instagram, Tina's Yoga Room. Any questions, um, you can type them in or send them to either of those social medias. Enjoy the rest of the day. It looks like a really nice weekend. See you later.